All right, boys and girls, Berkeley Elementary, this is Mr. Jones again with another math lesson. Today we're going to interpret line plot data. This is another review lesson. All right, your I can statement for today is I can interpret line plot data as information. The essential question is how does line plot data help you make predictions? All right. These are your common core standards I'm going to cover. Notice again that I have fifth grade standards and sixth grade standards because uh, a lot of the things that you are doing now in the fifth grade will be covered again, but to a more full extent in, in the sixth grade. I want you to go ahead and take the time to review the expectations. They haven't changed. Do want you guys to comment on at least two peers uh, comments and I want you to respond to all of your comments from your peers. Shout outs. All right. Students still emailing their work to me. Yahira, Jonathan and Tania. So I want to congratulate you guys. You're really showing ownership. I want you to keep sending in their work. So let me know that you're getting ready for sixth grade. All right. I have a question for you. What do you see here? What are your thoughts? What are your wonderings? Is there any information that you can get from looking at this chart? Right. We're going to tuck that in our back pocket and we're going to move on. We'll revisit this later. All right. So line plots. The data on the line plot, it tells a story. Tania is a fifth grader at Berkeley Elementary. She loves coloring because she thinks it's therapeutic. At home, her room is full of colors. She can never pick just one color. One day during Miss Millen's reading class, she read that the world's top five favorite colors are blue, red, green, purple, and black, with blue being the number one color in the world. She went to science class. During science class, Miss Beard said, we should always test claims before we believe them because it's the scientific way. She thought about this during Miss Satchel's math lesson about line plots. Then she suddenly had a great idea. She wondered if she could test this claim by counting how many times these colors appeared in her bedroom. How could line plot data help her gather this information? How could a line plot help her gather this information? I want you to go ahead and do a stop and jot. Put it in the comment section. All right. It's hard to move me out the way. <laughs> All right. So right there is fine. All right, I want you to count the colors in this image to fill in the data chart. So right here, I have an image of uh, Tania's room. All right, it's not really Tania's room, but uh, it will help us to get an understanding of how to gather data to form a line plot. This is an image I found online. All right, so the color that we're looking for first is what? That's right, blue. How many colors, how many different items here have the color blue on it? So we're just counting the items. Let's see. I see some blue in this painting right here. So that's one. This curtain is blue, two. This backboard is blue. That's three. This curtain is blue. That's four. Let's see. It's a pillow right here. It looks like it has some blue in it. That's five. All right. I don't see anything else with blue in it. So let's go with five. All right. 
let's see how frequent red shows up. All right. And remember, we're looking for this is our color section and this is the frequency of the appearance of those colors while we're marking it here. And you've seen this before. All right. So let's count one. See some red here. It's a little red here, two. And I see a little red on these vase here. Uh, this is three. This looks red, but it's more orange. So I just say three. I don't see any more red. All right. So let's move on down to green. All right. So we're just counting what we see as green in her room. All right. So I see some green on this ottoman right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. The lamp is green. Six. And this this is a tree right here in the corner. So I'm gonna count that too. All right. So I see seven. All right. What about the color purple? All right. Let's count one, two. This is deep purple. Three, four, five, six. Some purple on this pillow right here. All right. Seven. All right. It looks like y'all getting the point. All right. So let's count the black items really quickly. So I see black here and this little hound's tooth pillow. All right. So there's one. These are black. And there's two, three, four. Let's see. There's, oh yeah, there's black, little black right here in the carpet. All right. So it's five. All right. Use the data to answer these questions. All right. So we've gathered the data so far. And what we want to do is we want to use this data to get information about what we saw. So what colors appear most frequently? That's right, green and purple appear most frequent. All right, and we see that here. So green shows up seven times and purple shows up seven times. All right, what's the next question? What colors appear least frequent? Let's talk about this word frequent. Do you know what, do you understand what frequent means? Because you're gonna see that word a lot. Not just during this lesson, but in sixth grade. All right, frequency is just talking about how many times something occurs, all right? It's a measurement of how many times something occurs, all right? So what colors appear the least frequently, all right? So it looks like the least frequent is red. Because red show, only shows up three times in the room, all right? So red appears least frequent. What have you noticed about my answer so far? That's right. They're in complete sentences. I want you guys to get into a mind state of writing in complete sentences. All right. All right. I'm teaching more than just content now. I'm teaching uh, uh, transference from fifth grade to sixth grade. All right. Now, what is the range of the data? All right. Now, the range. I think I got a little ahead of myself to go back here for a second. The range is the difference between the lowest value and the highest value. So our lowest value is what? Red. All right. And our highest value is what? Seven. All right. So now we're going to say what's seven minus three and seven minus three gives us what? Four and four represents our range. All right. It's the difference between uh, that most frequent and uh, that least frequent color. All right. What is the total of all color appearances? This is a lot of information we're getting out of here, isn't it? So if we wanted the total, we could just count uh, each appearance one by one, and we get what? We 
That's right, we get 27. All right. Next question, are there any colors that appear the same amount of times as other colors? Yeah, I'd say green and purple appears seven times. Black and blue appears, oh, it says eight times, and I'm sorry, that's a typo on my part, but black and blue only appear how many times? Five times, all right? So we can gather that information that green and purple have the same frequency, and so does blue and black have the same frequency, all right? Last question. What would you predict is Tania's favorite or least favorite color? Looking at this chart, can you draw an inference about what you think her favorite colors are? What do you think they are? Somebody post that in the comment section. Yeah, I agree. I think that her favorite colors are green and purple because they show up the most in her room, all right? I think our least favorite color may be red. Let's plot this data on a line plot. And we've already done this before, but I wanted you to see it again, how this information connects and how it looks when we put it, uh, when we pull it from the data chart onto a line plot. All right. And so we see our frequencies have not changed. Blue is five. Red is three and green and purple are both seven and black is five also. All right. And what you will begin to see. Is that if you were to take a line and just go across the top, you see some curvature happening. All right. OK. We see how our data is distributed, all right? And you see right here where this big hump would be is where our highest frequency is also. And it sinks low when we go past red, all right? So with that in mind, I want you to look at this data one more time. Give it another shot. What do you see now? Has anything changed? since you last saw the chart. What information did you get from the chart? And lastly, what do you think is predicted to happen between April 27th and May 11th? Right. What do you think is gonna happen between these days? What's showing up here? Remember that curvature I was telling you guys about? And we're just looking at the red, the big red hump. Right. Lastly, I want you to create your own data chart and line plot. I want you to go in your room and I want you to um, do what Tania did. I want you to go and Take a survey of the colors that appear in your room, all right, from the list of the uh, uh, world's top colors, which were blue, red, purple, green, and black, all right? See how many times those colors appear in your room and see if one of those colors are your favorite color. See if that color actually appears the most. It'll be interesting, all right? I want to congratulate you guys again for showing ownership, and I want you to remember that you got this.